Chucky Season 3 Episode 4 titled Dress to Kill is a big all-out Halloween bash at the White House. Chucky needs to have three souls in order to stop getting older. So he has a mission to kill certain people at this Halloween bash. And it's absolutely crazy of how everything transpires. We see Jake, Devin, and Lexi come into the party invited by the president's son. And they're all wearing good guy costumes. Uh, Jake is cowboy good guy. Uh, Devin is the construction. And uh, Lexi is the girl doll. So everything's transpiring. And then you have Henry, who the young boy is, having a nanny. And the nanny's telling him that certain things are happening. Ghosts, let's play hide and seek. All the while, Chucky is up to his crazy ways and insane things that he has planned. Well, all the while, the president is seeing images of his dead son, Joseph. And Henry thinks that this is Joseph. Well, Dumbala is doing his thing. And then we have a side story with Jennifer Tilly, or Tiffany Valentine for that matter. She's now in a maximum security prison in her own little cell. The, <laughs> the guard does not like her at all. And then she has certain special offers and time to herself. And then we see uh, Nia Vordalis making a special guest appearance in this. And it's really funny. Jennifer Tilly or Tiffany gets the Voodoo for Dummies book. And then she does like a marionette thing. And kind of kills Nia Vordalis' character in this. Which is really funny and really weird how it's all done. Which is really, really interesting. It's just the gore and the effects are really intricate. Uh, not only that, you have the aspect of how she kind of uses the guards in order to kind of marionette her way out of this prison before three weeks for her execution by lethal injection. Now, we go back to the Halloween bash, and Chucky is doing his thing. He kills a certain amount of guests through a unique way, and he preaches to Dumbala, says the chant, it's a full moon, lightning strikes, clouds are getting heavy, everything's happening. And then you're like, what the hell is actually happening? Well, he goes to the mirror, takes his mask off that he has on, which his costume is the Phantom of the Opera, which is kind of poetic in a way, and I'll say why. All of a sudden, you see Chucky getting older. Yes, like an old, frail man, and it's absolutely shocking and hilarious because this is a side of Chucky you've never seen before even in the Child's Play movies and even in the first two seasons of this series. It's absolutely mind-boggling and really really well done. Now this was the mid-season finale or season finale for part one of season three. Part two of season three will take place in 2024 and the reason being is because of the sag Haftra strike or the actor strike that is going on in Hollywood. Listen, I understand people might be upset there's only four episodes, but I'm pretty sure we're going to get an explanation of what's going to happen with Chucky. And we did get previews of what's happening. And there's a little glimpse of Brad Dorff. Yes, Brad Dorff in the flesh as Charles E. Ray appearing. So it's going to be interesting how that plays a part in it. And I'm curious to see what happens with you know, Tiffany's character or Jennifer Tilly's character. Will Nika make an appearance? Will Jake, Devin, and Alexi actually finally be able to kill Chucky? Or will Chucky just, that's it, you know? Dumbala has forsaken him, and then Dumbala moves on to someone else. What will happen? What will happen with the present? So many questions still need to be answered in this season. But so far, season three has been exciting. Kind of disappointing that it's only four episodes, but... What can you do? I can't wait for part two of season three. It's going to be absolutely fun. And so far, it's been really, really exciting. And where the setting is, a lot of more hijinks is in store. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about episode four, season three of Chucky, titled Dress to Kill. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? What did you think about the aspect of the story? What do you think about Chucky getting older as an old man? Do you see him surviving? Do you think there's more dolls out there? What do you think is going to happen to certain characters? And do you think Dumbala will kind of save him? And what do you think is going to happen with Jennifer Tilly or Tiffany Valentine's character? Do you think she'll have lethal in death by lethal injection? Or will she survive? Let me know in the comment section below about all of the questions I just asked. And be sure you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for new review videos on my channel. I will see you all in the next review video. I'm Mr. Filmstock and thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you all for Season 3, Part 2 of Chucky in 2024.